Hello, my friends. Welcome to the What's Up in Makeup chat. It is so good to be here. Um, I'm a little confused right now because I don't see anybody in the actual chat, so I don't know if there's something wrong with it or what. It doesn't seem to be posting to anybody, so I'm hoping now that I'm live that now it is posting. I'm going to text real quick uh, my production manager and just see. I'm going to tell her I'm live now. Oh, there we go. There they are. <laughs> They're showing up. It was making me really, really nervous for a second, but it looks like now that I'm live, it's posting. Oh my gosh, because I've had it ready and sitting here for like 20 minutes. Oh, that's good. That's good. So today we're going to be talking about natural makeup products. Last week we talked about bold makeup products, the highlights from space and the uh, all kinds of bold, bright colors and all that. We talked about all that. But this week we're going to go natural. And I am very natural today, as you can tell, like I usually am in chat. And, of course, I have to do my little disclaimers if you do not like the live chat format and then I'm going to be talking to people that you cannot see. I will read you what they are saying, but if you don't like that, this may not be the best video for you to start with. I have tons of other content that's not live chat. Please feel free to check out all of that, uh, but I personally love this format, so I'm going to go ahead with it and hope that you enjoy it as well. Um, and also, I don't wear makeup in this video because I stay up late on uh, Saturday nights to get everything together for what's been makeup, and last night was especially late because I was procrastinating like that, and I wasn't feeling well earlier in the day, so it ended up being like a 3 a.m. day, and it was about three quarters of it was completely me procrastinating and putting it off, so... <laughs> So I'm a little bit tired today, but no makeup, but I feel like I'm kind of rocking the no makeup today. I think I'm doing all right. I'm having a good face day, I feel. Do you ever feel like that, like you're having a good face day? Like some days you're like, oh, my face looks busted. And then some days you're like, my face actually looks okay today. I feel like I'm doing all right. Maybe it's just the lighting from the, from the lights in the window that's helping. But I'm going to take just a second. I'm going to say hello to the collective brain. We are going to get their opinion on natural products, which makes this even better. That's why I'm, one of the big reasons why I love chat is because it's not just my opinion. It's the opinion of about 200 other people, which, you know, I, I feel like I know a lot of stuff, but I don't know as much as 200 people do. They help me to think of things I wouldn't have thought of. They mention products I've never tried, things like that. So it's, I think it's better to have them than just me alone. All right, I'm going to go ahead and say hi to them real quick because they're amazing. It's the collective brain of makeup awesomeness. Uh, if I can find the top. Here we go. All right. So it looks like Amanda's here and Rose is here. Teresa's here. Saucer Jess in the house. Sandra's here and Jennifer and Divinity is here. She's stopping by to say hi. Hello to you. Channel 34 back here. Tam is here. I can see your post, my friend. Marina and Tina and Diana, Sherry, Catherine Downing, check out her YouTube channel. Latina and uh, is, um, is Julio here? Hi, Julio. And Steph is here, one of our fabulous moderators. Jen is here, says, I'm here. I've been so long since I've made it live. I'm so glad you're here. Black Diamonds and Pearls. And Pamela, Stevie's girl, who always tells me her name, and I promptly forget, and I apologize, but I, you know I love you. Uh, Dina and Beth and Flory, one of our fabulous reporters. Jenna, who comments on all of my videos. B Beauty, who's here every single week. Ashley, Amanda, Consuelo, Julie, Sharon, Ashley, I think I already said Ashley, and Marie and Nancy up in the house, Teresa and Whitney. All right, I think I said Whitney. I went, it was either Whitney or Whitney. I think it was Whitney. Uh, and if I didn't say your name, hello, good morning, so happy to have you here. So I've got a collection of products here from foundations to eyeshadows. I have a ton of eyeshadow palettes. I've got lip products. I've got highlighters. I've got blushes. I've got all kinds of natural stuff to share with you. Uh, so Jessica Fit Beauty is here. Coffee and Jen finally making the beginning live. So happy to have you here. Definitely make sure you check out Jessica Fit Beauty's channel. She's got a great YouTube channel. All right, so let's, let's start with foundation. So for me personally, when I look for something that's more of a natural foundation, foundation, I look for a BB cream. Typically, BB creams are lighter coverage. They contain SPF, and uh, they're all over fabulous. You can build up a lot of BB creams to a more medium coverage, but you can also do it nice and light. Lee, thank you, Lee, or Leah. Is it Lee or Leah? Stevie's girl, every time, every stinking time. 
I have to ask you the same questions, and it's awful. Uh, Julie says my audio is off today. I do apologize. I have completely misplaced my microphone. I did have a uh, one of those, what is it called, a lavalier microphone, one of those little ones, and I completely misplaced it, so I do apologize if the sound is a little bit off. Um, so let's talk a little bit about BB cream. So these are my two current favorite BB creams. This one I just got at Generation Beauty. This is from Pure Lease, which I didn't even know that they made BB creams. Uh, this is fabulous. It's really, really nice. It says Tinted Moist Cream, SPF 30. Uh, you can build this up to medium coverage, which is really, really, really nice. I really love that a lot. Also, the Rimmel BB Cream is another one that I've been absolutely loving. I love the Garnier BB Cream. I ran out of it, did not repurchase it just because I didn't need it, but I love that BB cream. That's another one that's fabulous. Let's look at the collective brain. They're giving some great suggestions. Um, I saw some. Latina says, Julio is always with us. He's always asking about you and telling me to let you know how beautiful you are. Oh, thank you, Julio. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, she Diaries is talking about the e.l.f. BB cream. She, um, Cheyenne says the Flower Beauty BB cream from Walmart is great. Tiffany wants to know, Tiffany Dawn, check out her YouTube channel. Have you tried the PTR BB cream? PTR. I'm thinking <laughs> PRC, People's Republic of China. No, PTR. Not Physicians Formula. What's PTR? I don't know what that is. It's not clicking in my head. Good morning to Lindsay. Let's see. It's a silent A. Lee, thank you so much, Lee. I appreciate it. And I had a friend in elementary school named Lee that spelled it the same way as you do. Why can't I remember this? Why can't I remember? All right. Uh, Haley says she loves the Pure Lease one. And hold on, I'm looking. Jessica loves the L'Oreal BB cream. Sherry loves the Garnier. Ashley loves the Dr. Jart. Uh, Beth, does anyone know of a silicone-free BB cream? You can look at these. These don't have the full ingredients on or else I would check. I don't know. Oh, I don't know one specifically. I'd have to really look out for it. Amanda says she loves the e.l.f. one for her combo skin. The sunscreen burns her eyes. Uh, she's looking for similar formulas. Uh, for foundation for dry skin. If you have any specific questions about specific products for different skin tones, skin types, things like that, that I may not be, the best place to ask that is the What's Up It Makeup Facebook group. It's group slash What's Up It Makeup on Facebook. Uh, they know everything. There's somebody there that has your skin tone. There's somebody there that has your skin type, and there's probably about at least 20 or 30 of them that will answer you because they're amazing over there. It's such a diverse group of people. They really are wonderful. Uh, it does take a little while to get in because we have to approve you because we want to make sure that we have great people in there. Uh, we have a new system where you have to answer some questions in order to get in. Make sure you answer all three questions. It cuts down on the time to let you in. Steph says BB creams and CC creams are always too dark on her, so she has no suggestions. Yeah, I've noticed that, that a lot of BB and CC creams, they don't make like a super fair. They also don't seem to make super dark either. They, it's more like lights, like medium, medium, and then they kind of stop. I guess that's because of the Korean history of it with typical Korean skin tones. Maybe that's why. But if it's an American brand, I would hope that they would extend their shade range. But, yeah. Well, I have another option for you if BB creams are not good for you. It's powder foundations. Uh, powder foundations, I find, don't last as long for me without any kind of base. So what I'll do if I want... To use a powder foundation but I don't use a BB cream is I'll just put on a moisturizer before or a tinted moisturizer before and it kind of gives it something to stick to. So I'll wash my face, I'll cleanse my face and make sure that I've got like a nice hydrating moisturizer on uh, and then they seem to work better on me when my skin is really hydrated. I've got the Too Faced one here, the Cocoa Powder Foundation. I've also got the Bare Minerals Bare Pro in warm light. Both of these are really, really nice. I like both of them. Um, the Too Faced one is in the shade light medium for me. Steph says because light and fair is such a broad term, as is deep. As is deep. <laughs> so, yeah, the, so those are my two that I use all the time. Uh, it Cosmetics Tina recommends. Very good. Um... Yensid. Did I say that right? I hope I did. It Cosmetic CC Cream has the best coverage and high SPF. Yes, well, we're looking for a light coverage today, but I totally agree with you that, CC, that It Cosmetic CC Cream has a great coverage. Absolutely. Totally agree. Uh, let's see. Amanda says primer helps with powder foundation last longer. Absolutely. Totally agree. 
Uh, Lindsay says the Herborian BB cream is great and fair. Uh, Wheaton says powder beauty, powder foundations with SPF are great for sunscreen application. Nice. You know, I've never thought about that. Powder foundations are great with SPF sunscreen application. That makes sense because you put on your sunscreen and then put the powder foundation over top of it. Nice. Um, Tara says Tarte BB cream is on the lighter side. I'm combo and it suits me nicely. Very good. Awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to the next category. I'm going to put these down. And actually, I'm going to put them away because I end up with this huge mess everywhere after I do the chat. Let me just drop them in the drawer real quick. And that way I don't end up with as big of a mess. It only takes a second for me to walk over there and just drop them in the drawer. Okay, so let's now talk about, well, what I'm really excited about, of course, is eyeshadow because you guys know I'm an eyeshadow junkie. So I have tons of eyeshadow palettes. I'll show you, these have been my Holy Grail neutral eyeshadow palettes for a really long time, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and the Naked Two Palette by Urban Decay. I have to tell you, though, as I'm becoming less in love with these as I use more makeup and more products. It's not that these are bad products because they're not bad products for me. It's just I don't feel like they're as mind-blowing as they were when I first purchased them, if that makes sense. This was my very first high-end eyeshadow palette that I bought. It is very old. I'm not getting rid of it. Uh, my booty call fell out. I have no more booty call, um, so that's why that's not there. I This really helped inspire me to make me feel like I could do eyeshadow because before that, all I had ever used was like CoverGirl palettes, Revlon palettes, and I struggled and I struggled and I thought that it was just me, but it wasn't me. It was the eyeshadow. So when I got a hold of the Naked uh, Urban Decay Naked Basics 2, not Naked Basics, Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, it kind of opened up a whole new world for me, and that was when I really knew that I could do a makeup channel on YouTube. Uh, so, so yeah. Um, Jessica wants to know about cushion foundations. I haven't found any that I'm in love with. So, yeah. Um, that's just me personally. I'm, I'm going to get there, Amanda. I'm, I'm thinking about you. It's sitting right here. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm not as... I mean, these are still good. These are still really good. And especially if you like that chocolate set. I'll show you the inside of the chocolate bar palette. And just in case you haven't seen it. Um, you can get a ton of looks out of this, but I feel like this is more of your, I guess because I'm personally more into like the poppy stuff lately, which is not natural. So I guess these would be better. I don't know. I just feel like, especially this one, I don't, I don't know. They're just not knocking my socks off anymore. Maybe I'm just bored with them because I've had them for so long. I don't know. I don't know. There's just something about it that's not wowing me anymore. I don't know. Do you feel the same way that they're just not super wow anymore? So, all right. Speaking of e.l.f. palettes, because I've got people talking about the e.l.f. palettes. I've got the e.l.f. Needed Nude palette. This is my favorite of these smaller e.l.f. palettes. I did get the one that was the rose nudes one. I didn't find that one to be high quality in my opinion. Uh, this one's really good. I like the matte one as well. I don't feel like the lasting power on these is as good as high-end shadows, but you can get the same kind of look. The blendability is fantastic, and I really do like these little e.l.f. palettes. I think they're $6 each, I believe, or they're 10 Are they 6 or are they 10 I think they're 10 They're 10 The um, The bronzer and highlight palettes, those are 6 These are 10 uh, but I do really, really like these a lot, especially if you are not interested in spending a lot of money on eyeshadow. I would definitely recommend getting these over a lot of drugstore palettes. Absolutely. Tiffany says, I think we become bored with our makeup after a while. I agree. I agree. One thing I wanted to remind you of uh, that some of you probably don't need reminding, but just in case you do, if you're looking for a good natural eyeshadow palette, a contour palette is a great way to get an eyeshadow look without getting an extra product. So I just got this one from NYX. This is the Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. This one is really, really nice. And it's a neutral eyeshadow palette with giant pans. That's all it is. Um, not neutral, but natural. I don't want to say neutral. Um, some of them have some warmth or some coolness to it. But, um, but yeah, so definitely think about using your contour palette as double duty for contouring, highlighting, and for your eyes. So this is one option for that. Another one I really like from NYX that I actually like just a little bit better than that one is the Love Contours All Palette because it's got this purple in here that I really like a lot. Uh, and it's got a little bit of shimmer and shine in it where that one is all matte. I'm not a big fan of the brow shades up here very much, but I do really like all of the other shades in here. This one I would definitely get over that one if you want more options. If you just want something simple, I would get the Pro one. If you want something that's got a little bit more pizzazz, I would definitely recommend this one. 
I also have the one from Makeup Revolution. This one is fabulous. These highlights are a little bit really, they're kind of poppy, but the matte ones are really, really good for a nice uh, natural look. So this one is called the Ultra Contour Palette. That's a really good one. I also have the Kat Von D Shade and Light if you want to go high end. This is a really, really good one. I find this one doesn't last as long on my cheeks as some other products, other contour products, but this one is really good as far as the shade tones and all of that. I really like it a lot. Um, and then this one was the other one I brought out, which was the e.l.f. one. Oh, this is the e.l.f. Highlight Palette. Yes, this is the e.l.f. Highlight Palette. So you can also do this as eyeshadow as well. Uh, it's, it's just the, the bronzer palette I don't feel like is as good a quality as this one and then the contour one. The bronzer one was like, wasn't so good for me. I decluttered it. But this one is really nice to add color onto your eyes as well. Don't feel like you're limited to the cheeks. Okay, so I saw someone mention Busy Art. I do have one Busy Art palette. The only reason why I own this is because this was gifted to me by someone that she got this and she got it with the one shade broken so they replaced it for her and she sent me the one with the broken shade which I am so so thankful because it gave me an opportunity to try Busy Art Shadows. Every time I pick up a Busy Art Shadow palette even in like holiday season I was with my friend Nicole from the channel Yay or Nay Nicole. We were in San Francisco together. We were in the Sephora. I picked up the Busy Art palette. It was during the, the holiday sale and I'm like holding it in my hand and I'm like I can't I can't it's too much money. It's too small and it's too much money. I can't do it. So I put it back. One day I will break down and get more Busy Art palettes. One day. One day I will. But this one I really am enjoying, even though it looks like a hot mess. I really am enjoying it. Another one that my friend Nancy was kind enough to send me is this one uh, by Persona. It's called the Identity Palette. Oh my goodness. This thing is fabulous. If This is a palette that I've never heard about on YouTube. I don't know how she found it. But oh my gosh, I have to show you some of these shades. These satins are so nice. They are satins. They're not foil. They're satins, but they are beautiful satins. Some people don't want to be seen from space, you know? These are so nice. They're so nice, and I really like them. This matte looks a little chunky, but it blends out beautiful. Like, I just I just swatched it a little too hard. But oh my gosh, they're fabulous. These, this is a really, really nice palette. I've been neglecting it. I need to use it more. More eyeshadow, more eyeshadow, more eyeshadow. Um, I love Paris Nudes in the Busy Art line. Nice. That's good to know. Very good to know, Steph. Thank you so much for that. I also brought out the Urban Decay Naked Basics palettes. These were my holy grail for the longest time, especially the Naked Basics 2. This is a fantastic eyeshadow palette. I can't say I'm out of love with this one. I'm still in love with this. I really like it. Oh, the someone's asking, Heidi's asking, I think you're asking about this. This is called Persona, and it's called the Identity Palette. And the website is, um, they have Instagram, Persona Cosmetics, www.personacosmetics.co, distributed from Los Angeles. So there you go. Facebook is Persona Cosmetics USA. Naked Basics 2, great way to lay down a natural base. I just put up a tutorial randomly because I'm trying to do some type of tutorial and it got the best reaction, my tutorial that I put up. I think the people that watch it seem to have really liked it. Of course, there's a few people that are like, um, Jen, I do this every day. This is nothing groundbreaking. <laughs> but the people that, that are getting something out of it are really appreciative of it. It's just uh, how to lay down a new, uh, like a natural base and then change your look with just one shadow. So this is a great palette for laying down that base that I talked about in the video. The Urban Decay Naked Basics original one is the this one here. This one I don't like as much just because I don't like the shade range as much. It's like light, light, light. It's, it's like champagne light, yellow tone light, peach tone, light, medium, cool tone, neutral-ish tone, and then darker, and then black. It's like, I don't, I just don't like the color selection. I think that they really improved it on the Naked Basics, too. I think they did much better in that it's a range of colors. I like that much, much better. Uh, Lynette says, the Persona palette is always sold out whenever I try to purchase it. No! They're talking about what's in the makeup this week, Jeffree Star getting sued again. I don't think they have a case. Just, just, like, it almost makes me, like, when somebody sues someone, even though, okay, I, I'm not going to go off topic. I, okay, real quick, I'm going to go off topic. Jeffree Star is getting sued by Lunatic Labs Cosmetics because of the bullet-shaped lipstick. See the whole story and what's the makeup today. 
But it's like almost makes me lose some respect for Lunatic Labs because I feel like they don't have a case there. The lipstick, I mean, yes, they're both bullet shapes, but they don't look anything alike. The Lunatic ones are like real thin at the top and the Jeffree Star ones are big at the top. I don't know. I don't get it. I, I just, I think they just, they're looking at Jeffree and all of his money and they want it. And that's what it looks like to me. That's from an outward person that doesn't know at either party. It bothers me. But anyway, Oh, Jen says they have a version of the makeup eraser in their dollar store. That's very cool. All right, back on topic. Back on topic. New Dude by The Balm. Yes. This is a really, really, really nice palette. You've got a few shimmery shades here. Um, you've got some shimmery deeper shades, but you've also got a lot of mattes in there to mix it up. This one's really, really good. Another drugstore one, the Original Reveal Palette by Coastal Scents. You can get... Um, so I was just reading my friend Jen's comment. Okay. <laughs> Reveal palette, 20 eyeshadow colors, coastal scents. The original one I feel like is the best one. Do not get the Revealed 3, in my opinion. The Revealed 3 by Coastal Scents to me was not nearly as good as the 1 and the 2. The 1 and the 2 were pretty good. I think these these can go on sale for really, really cheap, and you get a ton of shadows. They The glittery, shimmery ones do have some fallout, so just be careful. They're very powdery, kind of like rock shadows, but you can work with them. Tap off your brush. It's definitely something you can work with, and you get a ton of shades in here. That's why I really love the Reveal palettes. how many shade options you have. So there's a lot of colors that are dupes in here for the Urban Decay Naked and Naked 2 palettes. Not all of it, but some of it. Definitely recommend this. If you dig deep enough into my channel, I do have a full review on it. Uh, two more eyeshadow palettes, the, the Juvia's Place Nubian 2. I couldn't find my original Nubian, but I like the quality of this one just a little bit better. Of course, it does have some bright pops of color in it, but it has some more neutral skin, more, not neutral, I keep saying neutral, some more natural skin tones, especially if you have deep skin, because this one is going to be more deep skin friendly for that natural look. Um, there isn't really a lot of options for lighter skin tones for the natural look, but I wanted to show this because the quality is amazing. I do really like the original Nubian. It gives us lighter skin people a lot more options, but I think, actually, I think I do, do I, no, I don't know where it is. Actually, I do know where it is. It's in this bag right here that I never unpacked. Yeah, I get things together for videos and then I never unpack them. Here it is. This is the original Nubian by Juvia's Place. This one right here. So there's a lot more options for uh, lighter skin people in this one, uh, but it's still more medium to deep skin tone friendly. But definitely worth a purchase, I think, for anyone. And then the last one, which you guys know that I can't get away with doing this video without showing the Tarte Clay Play because you guys know this is my new favorite. I show it in every single video. I can't stop with this thing. I'm in love with it. It smells like vanilla. If you don't like that vanilla scent, you're not going to like this because every time I open it, it gives me that waft of vanilla, but it, getting up in the morning and using a vanilla scented eyeshadow palette just makes me happy. Uh, this one is really, really good. I've talked about this thing to death, so I'm going to put it back, but this is my new favorite neutral palette. Neut natural palette, not neutral, natural palette. It's got the contour shades in there, too, that you can use for eyeshadows, and it's just super fab. I love it. All right, going to the community now for some suggestions for eyeshadow palettes. I want to know from you what you think. Let's see. She Diary says the original Nubian is travel friendly, though. That is very true. Um, I, the only reason why I was really showing the Nubian 2 was because I wasn't sure where my Nubian 1 was, and then I remembered it where it was. Oh, but look at this. Look at these colors in here. I know we're not talking about colors, but they're so pretty. I can't. I can't with Juvia's Place. I can't. They're my favorite eyeshadow brand right now, by the way. Juvia's Place is just... Oh. Colored Rain would probably be up there, too, if they had more eyeshadow palettes. I'm waiting for them to come out with more palettes. Hey, Emily. How are you? Oh, did we talk about Mr. Comfort Zone from Wet n Wild? No, we didn't talk about Comfort Zone from Wet n Wild. I think it's buried in my drugstore palette drawer over there. But yes, Comfort Zone from Wet n Wild is a great staple for a collection. I feel like you definitely need to dig into other palettes. As far as like the brow bone shade, doesn't have a really great brow bone shade, but other than that, it's really, really good. Uh, Jack, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill is so awesome. I do have a full review coming out of the Jaclyn Hill palette when I get back. No. Oh my gosh. See, I filmed swatches of it that I'm trying to get up to you as soon as possible. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the full review up before I get back because I don't know. I'm trying really hard to get the full review up. I'm, all, I'm ready to review it. 
it's just there's so much editing involved and I want to get up so much stuff before then. But uh, just as a preview for what I think about the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'll get that out for you. There is, there is a lot of natural you can do with this, but there's also the pops of color. I'll hold this up for you. So you've got a lot of browns and warm, a lot of warm brown over here, and then you've got kind of your, like, cool corner over here. Uh, if you have the right primer, these are fabulous. They're amazing. If you don't use a primer, if you use the wrong one, just, in my opinion, it just kind of goes, crash and burn. But... I really feel like the primer is everything with this. I've been testing it on Snapchat. If you're not following me on Snapchat, I've been testing it every day on Snapchat, showing you at the beginning of the day, the end of the day. I've saved the snaps so I can put them in the full video so you can see what it looks like. But their application-wise, the primer doesn't seem to matter. But when you put it on your eyes and you leave it on there, the primer makes a huge difference. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about that. But yes, you can get some very nice natural looks. It does come out again in two days. The 18th is when this comes out. And I'm trying to get up the swatch video before the 18th. That's my, um, my goal. Best primer. I've, uh, my favorite primer is the is Urban Decay's formula. I really love. Also Ulta Brand. Ulta Brand is almost an exact dupe formula wise for Urban Decay. So I like the Ulta Brand nude one. Hopefully, they keep discontinuing everything I love, Ulta brand, so hopefully they may never discontinue that one. But the Ulta Nude Eye Primer is fabulous, and then the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Those are my two favorites. Uh, Lisa says that she feels like Wet n Wild is much better now. Uh, Jensen says, Meat Matte Nude, Meat Matte Chimony by the Balm. Those are very, very good. And Lee says, A Makeup Revolution Chocolate Vice Palette is so good. Fabulous. I don't know anything about that one. Tammy says, my Lorac Pro 2 is my favorite natural palette. I use it six days a week in one way or another. I didn't pull that one, even though I really like it, just because it had a lot of colors in it. But I agree, that is a fantastic palette. Uh, Lisa says, NARS. Okay. I have The NARS palettes that I've tried, I haven't enjoyed as much, but I've heard a lot of people agree with you 100%. Um, let's see. Who, I'm missing a lot of things. Uh, Ivy says, Make MAC Paint Pot um, Primer. The shimmery ones for me don't work, but the matte ones, like painterly, do work for me. I did get a shimmery one, and I absolutely hated it. It creased, it glitter fall out everywhere. It was awful. Awful. I did not like it. I forget what it was called, but it was terrible. But the matte one and painterly, I need to get another one. I need to re-up on it. Lynette says the Jaclyn Hill palette is really good, but the Tarte quality is better. Um, I don't know. I... I uh... I don't know, for me personally. I mean, I did, you have, Lynette, you totally have a right to your opinion, but I'm trying to think whether I think that's true or not. Mm. I like the shade selection better in the Tarte Clay Play, I'll tell you that. Uh, but is it better quality? Yes, because it doesn't matter what primer you get with the Tarte. Tarte, Tarte doesn't matter what primer. You put a primer on, it doesn't matter. But the Jaclyn Hill, you need to have a specific primer. But as far as blendability, I find them to be easy equally as easy to work with. That's just my opinion. Um, okay, let me see. Any other suggestions before we go? Uh, AJ says, love my Tarte palette. Thanks, Jim, for reviewing it. You are so welcome. Mac has natural times 15. Melissa wants to get that. Um, people should stay away from long comb shadows, Sherry says. Drugstore is better. I've heard bad things about long comb shadows. I swatched it in store and was not impressed just with swatching it, but I've never used one. Diana says, NARS smudge proof with MAC paint chili on top. My shadow lasts me 15 hours, no creasing, best combo ever. Thank you so much for that. All right. Yes, Felicia does not live that close from, Felicia does not live that far from us, Tabitha. I thought you knew that. I, know. I haven't said hi to Felicia. Hi, Felicia. <laughs> um, Felicia is always here. I love Felicia. She comes on Periscope a lot, too. She's one of my faves. Okay, so let's move on. Let's go into cheek products. Now, when choosing a cheek product for your natural look, my recommendation is when you are out in the heat this summer, specifically take a picture of yourself when you are stupid hot. Like if it gets really, really hot and your cheeks turn red, take a picture of yourself. That's the color blush you want to get for your natural look. Uh, it's different for every single person. Uh, if you are in wintertime watching this, when you come in from the cold, if your cheeks are pink when you come in from the cold, that's what you're going to look at. 
Um, at least that's what I feel. Uh, I don't know about, like, if you have a really deep skin tone, I don't have any experience with that, like how the skin tone changes on someone that's very deep, but you know whether that works for you or not. I, 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 I know it works for me, that's all I can say. So the colors that I choose that are close to that color of my natural flush are shades like this. And I feel like people of my skin tone get scared to use shades like this because, oh, it's so dark, it's so deep, it's not going to look good on me, but oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. This is Becca's Sweet Pea. It is beautiful. It's almost a bronzer with a hint of pink. Do you see that? Like, it's like a pink. It looks like it's going to be like more brown, but it's pink and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Also, this one from Kiko Milano. This is the Soft Talk, Soft Touch blush, uh, let's see, number 111, I guess it doesn't have a name, but this is another one that I really, really like a lot. These mauve shades look so beautiful on my skin tone. Love them. Uh, people are talking about Zabrina. If you've never seen Zabrina's YouTube channel, she's beautiful and amazing and smart and fabulous and love her. Okay, this is one that's a little bit brighter, but if you're gonna, if I'm going to go pink, I like these kinds of shades. This is XOXO by Makeup Geek. This is a cream blush. No, it's not. I thought it was a cream blush. It's not. Oh, wait, that's bright. Never mind. That is not natural. I don't know what I was thinking. I grabbed it and I was like, oh yeah, and then no. And no fail. <laughs> Moving on. Wipe it off, Jen. Let's erase, erase. Pretend like that didn't happen. That didn't work. But yeah, I love these mauve shades right here. Those are my faves. Okay, moving on, moving on to highlighters. Oh wait, no, let's talk about your favorite blushes first, Collective Brain. Julie says, I love my Cargo Swimmable Blush in Bali. Cargo Swimmable Blushes are fabulous. I don't recommend much from Cargo, but that is something I definitely think is fabulous. Uh, Lydia, Lydia says, cream blushes are pretty and dewy natural too. Yes, and I really like cream blushes in the summertime because I feel like it really melds into my skin where I don't know why I feel like powders are better for me for uh, winter time, but I know people with dry skin would probably think the opposite. Not I know, but I would imagine. Willow says, the bronzers in the Makeup Revolution Sugar Palette make lovely blushes. Fabulous suggestion. And Average Girl Beauty, I don't know, I lost it. I feel like mauve shades are universally flattering. I think so, too. I agree. But I think some people get scared of them. AJ says, Benefits Dallas. Um, Marie, Mariana says, Blush Trio from ADH. Tarte has okay blushes, C. Johnson says. And, you know, I'm kind of disenchanted with Tarte blushes. For, the, for a while, I thought that I really liked them, and I think it was just YouTube influence that was making me like them. I don't know, man. Like, I, I really don't think they're fabulous. Am I am I the only one that doesn't, that's not seeing why Tarte blushes are so hyped up as being the most amazing blushes ever? Like, I really feel like part of the reason why I was saying I liked them was because everybody else did, and I thought that maybe I was crazy, that I didn't love them. I think it depends on the shade, too. I think some shades last longer than others, because I definitely like some of my Tarte blushes better than other ones, but I feel like there's better blushes out there than the Tarte ones. They're so thick and expensive. I do like the Love Flush blushes by um, by Too Faced. I have a couple of samples of those. I don't have any of the full size, but I have a couple of the small ones, and I do like those as well as far as formula. Uh, Sarah says she agrees on the Tarte blushes. Benefit Hervana is a beautiful mauve, Emily says. And Hourglass Mood Exposure from Amber. Jessica says NARS Deep Throat Blush. Yeah, that's a good one. She's LOLing. You got to LOL. Whenever you say Deep Throat, you have to LOL. It just it goes with it. LOL. <laughs> Heather says she likes Japanese. Three drops of sunshine. Tarte powders have a lot of kickback. Yes, they do. Well, some of them do. I find like the, like my ones that are older don't have as much as the ones that are newer ones. Um, AJ says Tarte blushes don't last. I find the same thing. I do. I find the same thing. Nancy says she decluttered all of her Tarte blushes. I don't blame you. I don't know what happened there. Megan says Tarte Prim is gorgeous. I don't own that one. Caroline says Clinique Nude Pop. I would imagine that would be great for fair skin tones. That one does not show up on me at all. Grey Dove says I like the colors, but it's so hard to pick up using the blush brushes I have. Uh, maybe the Tarte. Which ones are you talking about, hon? Holly says Milani Luminoso. That is a classic. And Nars Orgasm, another classic. Julie says hi. Hi, Julie. What's up, Julie? All right, let's go into highlighters. Now that Julie's here, we can, we can move on because we can't move on without Julie, right? 
So I've got some powder highlighters and I've got some cream highlighters. Of course, the hourglass is going, what we're going for for the highlighters this time is more natural highlighters. We're not looking for from space highlighters. We did from space last time. So the ones that kind of meld into your skin and give you just a little bit of glow. Hourglass, even though the price point is insane, I definitely feel like these will give you that glow without accentuating pores, without accentuating any fine lines, and give you that nice little glow. These are fantastic. I think that this palette is definitely worth the price. If you are willing to invest it in it, I definitely think it's worth the price. But the thing about highlighters, though, is that I feel like highlighters is one of those things, especially natural highlighters, that we notice when we put it on our faces, but I'm not sure that that many other people notice, or at least consciously notice, when we're wearing a subtle highlight. So is this absolutely necessary in your makeup routine? No, I don't think it's absolutely necessary. But if you want to do that for yourself because it makes you feel beautiful, I definitely recommend this one. It is wonderful. Another one that I don't, I'm not sure if this is still on sale at Ulta or not because I know they were getting rid of it at Ulta. It's the, um, the Fiona Styles Light Illusion Prism Palette. This is wonderful. If you can get your hands on it, it is fabulous. Packaging is great. It's like super solid packaging. This was sent to me uh, for review. I think I did a sponsored video for Fiona Styles a while ago, but this video is not sponsored by anybody. I don't have any obligation to talk about these ever again. Uh, but I do really, really like this one. This is also very nice for a nice natural look. But I'm not sure if it's still at Ulta or not. Actually, let me look real quick because now I need to know. I need to know. And only take me a second. Ulta.com. Fiona. Styles. Yep. Let's see if the highlight palette's still there. They have a bunch of lip products. I don't see the highlight palette. The highlight palette might be gone. Let me click on face just to make sure. Yeah, the highlight palette's gone. It's not there anymore. Ah, oh, it's a bummer. It's such a bummer. Okay. Well, if you can find this, it is really, really good. Uh, some, oh, another powder one, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighters. This is another more subtle one. See how it's just got that shift, that shine there? It's very nice. It's just got a little bit of a shine. It's not from space. I really like these a lot. All the Essence Pure Nude ones are fabulous. This one is uh, Be My Highlight number 10, by the way. Tiffany says, Fiona Styles says she was trying to find a new place to sell her stuff. I think Ulta is clearing out her collection completely. I think so, too. I am with you. Rose said it could still be in store. That's very true. What, was it ever sold in store, though? Did it, I don't know if they... Excuse me. I don't know if they had Fiona Styles in store, did they? I know they didn't have it in my store, at least that I saw. I don't... I think Fiona Styles is still existing, uh, but I don't think that it... Um, it's going to... It's not at Ulta Online anymore. I don't think they're selling it anymore. Uh, Latina says, so off topic, but today is Julio on my anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary to Latina and Julio. I love you both very much. Happy anniversary. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, actually, you know what? Today's my anniversary, too. I'm oh, like looking at the date, July 16th. Wait, that's my anniversary, too. This is how busy I've been. Like, isn't today my wedding anniversary? Like, how stupid am I? Like, I'm like, wait a second. Today's my wedding anniversary. Right? Isn't today my wedding anniversary? I think it is. <laughs> how dumb am I? This is, this is how not girly I am. This is how not girly I am. Okay, back to highlighters. Thank you so much and happy anniversary to you too, Julio and Latina. You guys don't care about that stuff anyway. Let's move on to Dandelion Dew by Benefit. Thank you, everybody. Everybody's giving me happy anniversary. I didn't say it to my husband either. Like, he didn't say it to me. I didn't say it to him. I think we both forgot. You know, when you, this is, what is this, 12, 13 years, something like that? I don't even know how many years I've been married. Girlfriend, I'm, boyfriend, I don't even know. Whatever. I'm moving on to other highlighters. These are from Benefit. The only way I would recommend these is because it is, uh, these are very, very natural. They're very, they're definitely not poppy at all. This is Dandelion Dew, and this is Shy Beam. Shy Beam is really natural. Oh my gosh, I feel like such an idiot. It's so funny because Chad is live and there's nothing you can do about it. If I was editing, I would edit that part out, but I can't because it's live. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay, and then this is the, hold on, can you see that? That's the Shy Bead. It's really for brightening because it's matte. And then this one is the Dandelion Dew. It's got a pink. So, oh, wait, this is this is a blush, but still, it's got like a pink flush to it. I should have showed that when we did the blush. But these are very, very nice. They are very expensive, though. 
I don't know if they're worth the price, but if you like those colors, then I recommend those. The last thing I on those are great for me. All right, moving on. Okay, any other highlighters? Let's talk about highlighters with the collective brain. Anybody else have any suggestions for highlighters? Tina says Lord Geller French Vanilla. I love Lord Geller products. Tiffany says for an all over glow, I love the Glam Glow Glow Starter Illuminating Moisturizer. Nice, I've never tried that. Julie, I think that it's like, let me see. So, let me see. John is 35. 15 years? Have we been married 15 years? God, this can't be 15 years. It might be. Hold on a minute. Yeah, it's 15 years. So I was 24 when I got married and I'm 39. Oh my gosh. Oh. I feel like this is an important anniversary and I completely forgot it. Okay, um, Dandelion Twinkle, Lynette says. And uh, Gray Dove says, I'm scared of liquid highlighters. I'm not entirely sure when to layer them. Uh, what I do with a liquid highlighter is I do my foundation, um, concealer, all of that, and then I'll put on the liquid highlighter and then the powder over, the setting powder over top if you want it to be less glowy. Um, or you can, you don't have to use setting powder at all. Um, you can just do like a finishing powder at the end. Uh, but I don't, I don't, see, I haven't had a personal problem with doing setting powder and putting it over top, but I know that YouTube would tell me that's a big no-no, but I haven't had a big problem with that. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I can only tell you my personal experience and I know I've put setting powder on and then put the liquid highlighter over top and have not had a problem with it. So Felicia says you're 39, you don't look it. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't feel like I'm 39 either. I think I'm miscounted somewhere. <laughs> I always am like, there's no way I could be 39. It's just not possible. How could I be 39? How did that even happen? Like, I must have counted wrong. Oh, Love Oak Beauty is going to be 39 this month too. Birthday twins, 1978. All right. Let's move on to lip products. I have a ton of lip products. We've got about 18 minutes left. Rose is going to go feed her cat. She's going to come back. Oh, Joy says, Algenis Illuminating Drops. They come in a two-piece set. Very nice and natural looking. Fabulous. Sheila says she puts cream highlight over powder too. Yeah, I haven't had a problem with it. I would imagine that YouTube would tell us we're wrong though. So, oh no. Uh, okay, let's move on to lips. So, of course, if you have watched my reviews and you've been to chat a lot, you know that the, the number one lip product in my life are the Bare Minerals Gen Nudes. Uh, I'm in love with them. This is my Gen Nude collection, except for this one. That's not Gen Nude. This is my Bare Minerals Gen Nude collection. I did get some of these off of the, from Ipsy Points, so I didn't buy every single one of these, but I bought a lot of them because I'm in love with them. And the reason why I'm in love with the Gen Nudes is because of, number one, the smell. They smell like chocolate pudding. Number two, they, um, I love the way that they apply, except for one shade, and it's the shade Cookie that is very patchy. But other than Cookie, which is this one right here, it's like a, um, it's almost like a peach uh, color, and it's very um, pasty looking almost. I don't, I don't like Cookie at all. But other than that, I really, really love these. They do have, um, they're, they're Gen Nudes, so they're supposed to be nude shade lipsticks. And, oh my gosh, they're fabulous. This one is in the shade Ball, so I don't know if I've even used this one, but they're very whippy and very soft and very comfortable, and I love them. They are not transfer-proof at all, but they wear down very nicely, and some of them will stain your lips just a tad bit, so even if you do wipe them off, you will still see some color in there, and it just fades so gracefully, and they smell so good. If you don't like fragrance, you're not going to like them, though, because they do have a chocolate scent. They smell amazing. I talked to the people over at Bare Minerals at uh, Generation Beauty, one, one Generation Beauty, I forget which one, not this past one, but they said that it was supposed to be a vanilla scent and it just kind of came out chocolate. So that's fine with me. But it smell, literally smells like chocolate pudding to me. I absolutely love these. These are wonderful. But again, not transfer proof at all, just extremely, extremely comfortable. Another formula that I love that's very similar is the Julep formula. Uh, this is in the shape Ooh La La. This one's my favorite. Oh my gosh, I love this. This one doesn't smell as good, but it still has a nice scent. It's got this weird little bally uh, applicator there, which is kind of odd. But this one's really pretty as well. It's more of that whipped formula, but it dries down a little bit better than this one. Ivy says Kat Von D Liquid Lip in Ludwig. I don't own that one. Kat Von D is a little dry for me. I do own a couple of them, but it's a little dry for me. It's not my favorite formula, just for me personally. 
Uh, AJ wants to know, is there chocolate in it? No, I do not believe so. Double check the ingredients, but I do not believe there is any chocolate in it. I think that there is a vanilla in it. Uh, Janae says, oh, Om is my favorite. The Jed Moods, Om is really, really good. I love that one too. Rita says, I can't wear lipstick. Nothing looks good on my lips. Why? Rita, the, uh, is it Rita? No, Riti, Riti. Okay, this is what you do. Look at your lip color. And when you go into the store, you're going to hold up a lipstick that looks exactly the same color as your natural lips. I know that sounds crazy. I know that sounds crazy. But that is your gateway. Your natural lip color in a lipstick is your gateway drug to lipsticks. Because then what you're going to do is you're going to go a little tiny, the exact same color, just a little bit darker. And a little bit darker. And a little bit darker. And eventually you're going to love all the lipsticks. I'm telling you. That, it sounds crazy, but if you want to get into lipsticks, that's the way to do it. That's how to get comfortable, in my opinion. That's the way I feel anyway. Tiffany says, my ultimate favorite lip is a YSL Rouge Voluptin in number three. I'll have to look that up. Um, oh, true name is Rita. Oh, see, look, I'm psychic. I'm psychic. I knew this. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> let's move on to some other formulas that I really like. I love the, um, the Jouer ones. The Jouer lip creams are super fab. Let me swatch this one. This one's in the shade Melon, which I don't think this is a very melony kind of shade. I guess it's a little melony, but there you go. I love these. I love these. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, AJ has a chocolate allergy. I think I remembered that about you. Do you have a chocolate allergy? I don't think there's chocolate. This one smells like vanilla, the Jouer ones. And one thing that's cool about the Jouer ones is that they have like an interlocking system. Let's see if I can get these to lock. I'm not sure if the lips lock together, but there's um, like a little slider on the side and they have some products. I'm not sure if the, the lipsticks do slide together, but I know some of their interlocking stuff does slide together. I don't know why I thought these slid together. Maybe they don't. Am I, am I being dumb here? Maybe. It's possible. But that's part of being live is that sometimes you're just dumb. I thought that these slid together, but they don't apparently. I know they do have some products that have a, like a quad thing that they all the products lock together. I don't know why I thought these locked together. But anyway, lips, lip, the lipstick formula is super, super fab. I really like it. Janae says, um, OMG, Jen is so right. Ha ha, I have about 30 different nude lip colors. Exactly. That's what she do. That's what she do. Tiffany says, I'm also hooked on Touch of Spice because you love it. Yes, Touch of Spice. That's, that's fabulous. That's um, the color, color Sensational, I believe. Maybe like Color Sensational and Touch of Spice. I think that's the brand. I haven't used it in a hot minute. Can you believe it? It's been a while since I've used my Touch of Spice. Another formula that I really love, you can get it all to now, is the Dose of Colors. They had a new, like a lip set that Nancy was kind enough to get for me. And oh my gosh, they're fabulous. They're so good. Chocolate Wasted for Deep Skin Tones. Well, I like this on me too, but it's not going to look natural on me. Uh, but oh my gosh, I've worn this in a couple of um, What's of the Makeup episodes. I always get compliments when I wear Chocolate Wasted. And then uh, the more natural one is called Truffle. This one is super fab. This is definitely one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. This one's Truffle on me right there. Super, super fab. Scent is kind of sweet, creamy kind of scent. Those are really, really nice. As far as lipsticks, the Makeup Forever lipsticks, I really like their formula. I'm starting to really get into them. I wish they weren't so expensive. This is the Artist Rouge Cream C211. Oh, well. But that one's such a pretty color. Let's see if I can get it. right there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And it's so creamy and hydrating. Last look a regular lipstick. Nothing schnazzy as far as the lasting power. But they feel really good on the lips, and they go on beautifully. I have perpetually dry lips. I tell people that all the time. My lips are always, always, always dry. Um, so that, when a lipstick or a liquid lipstick looks good on my lips, I know that it's good. I know it's good. Rihanna says, are the Jouer liquid lipsticks transfer proof? I do not believe so. Um, my memory's telling me no. Um, I'm trying to think of any of the any transfer proof ones. See, the problem with the transfer proof ones, the, I would say Dose of Colors is the closest. Uh, the ones I'm showing you to transfer proof. Dose of Colors is pretty transfer proof. Tra transfer resistant, I would say. Um, my problem with transfer proof liquid lipstick is they tend to be very drying on my lips and I don't like that. So I trade the transfer proof for the comfort. That's just me. Um, but yes, the Joseph Colors ones are probably the most transfer resistant out of all the ones I've shown you so far. As far as another solid liquid lip, liquid lipstick, another solid lipstick that I really like the, oh no, this is a cheap product. 
Um, I do like the, the crayons like this that are made by Julep for lips, but this is a cheap one that's more of a dark one. This one is called Passion Fruit. I forgot to show you this. This is by Jouet. I know that's very dark on me, but if you're darker, this is a beautiful, beautiful one. Jouet, um, not Jouet. Julep makes really good cheek sticks and the lip sticks, the ones that are rounded. They have like a moisturizing pore in them. They are so hydrated and fabulous. Um... Anything else here? Those are all the ones that I brought out. I used to be really addicted to the Too Faced Le Creme lipsticks, but I've been a little less enchanted with those lately. I've been kind of falling off of those. I don't know. I Am I the only one that's getting disenchanted with Too Faced just in general, where I'm just kind of like, you know, like, I don't know. I, got, when they're, when they, when, I think what did it for me was when they showed the pictures of the holiday collection coming up. I was like, no. You've got to be kidding me. No. Because it looks exactly the same as the one from last year. It's like, really? I guess they're counting on a lot of people that are not makeup junkies. We have to remember, like, I have to remember, there are a lot of people out there that don't have a huge makeup collection, and those look appealing to them. But I was like, no. No. It just made me sad. It made me very sad. And I was not happy with the holiday collections. Last year, I actually had them on display downstairs by my desk because they're so pretty. I'm, I Like, they just sit there because they're not functional makeup products. They don't work very well at all. Um, and then the thing, like, the drama with Jared and all of that, like, I don't like to get into all the tea and everything. I'm more of a coffee girl, but, like, Jared has not been impressing me lately. Like, the choices he's been making on social media have not made me happy. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I'm kind of over Too Faced at this point. So I, I, I still like the Le Cremes, but and I don't like them as much as like the Makeup Forever one and the Julep one at this point. You know, I used to be obsessed. So Carrie says cute packaging, but that's it. Yeah, they are marketing masters. You know they're putting out the strawberry collection, right? That's money right there. It's money. Like, it's genius. It's like sometimes when companies come out with stuff, I'm like, yeah, I should have thought of that one. <laughs> like Royal and Langnickel coming out with the um, the spa brushes where you can like use the brush to like rub in your cleanser. What? Are you kidding me? That's like, I never would have thought of that. They said they've been making spa brushes forever, but I don't know. And that just seems amazing. So sometimes when I look at different brands, they have like these such great ideas. That's to me, it's a great product though. I want to do my next The Truth video. If you saw my truth about five reasons why some YouTubers got big or whatever I called it. I can't remember what I called it. Five reasons why the top influencers are big or whatever. The one that I want to do next, um, I want to do how brands trick you into buying things. <laughs> I think that would be a good one for the holidays, though. So I might hold on to that one for the holidays. Because there's a lot of marketing texts, especially makeup companies, that they get you. They get you. It's like the top, they do like the top five reasons why are ways that companies trick you into buying things. Oh, by the way, I'm done with showing you all the products. That's why I'm just gabby, gabby, gabby. So if you just wanted me to show you products, I don't have any more to show you, but I'm just going to chat with Collective Brain for the next seven minutes because it's just fun. <laughs> but I'm out of products. Any other recommendations, you can throw them out, Collective Brain. And if you're watching this on the replay, you can feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments below because we can all learn from you then. And that's why we're the Collective Brain. We're this giant, you know, 80,000 person brain. And we all can work together collectively to find the best stuff. That's what we do. Um, Katie says she missed it. Oh, that's okay. I'm glad you're here. Let's see what am I missing? <laughs> AJ says, awesome video idea. Spill the coffee, girl. Yep. Smell is a trick. Absolutely. Oh, I totally agree. Too Faced invented a lot of the tricks, I think. At least I feel like it. Too Faced seems like all packaging, no substance. Yep. Oh, the new Sunset Palette by La Rock. Yeah, those look interesting. I'm waiting for the flip to cool, man. I'm so done with warm. Like, I know some people with warm skin tones love the warm, and some people, you know, just some people in general love the warm. I'm just done. I have too many now. I'm done with it. I'm like, okay, I've bought enough. Let's move on. <laughs> it's the same thing with, like, the unicorn products. I'm kind of done with those, too. Even though I think they're all gorgeous. Like, I love holographic 
stuff, like, and not holographic, because not all, not holographic makeup, because holographic makeup does not exist, at least in my opinion, or at least, yeah, mostly, I don't know, anyway, I can't say it doesn't exist, I don't own any holographic makeup, but, like, makeup that shifts, iridescent makeup, and duochrome makeup, I'm in love with, I don't know if I'm ever going to be completely over it, Natural eyebrow powders are at least good ones. Oh, yeah, we can talk about brow powders. The, um, my favorite brow products are Benefit brow products are my favorites, uh, honestly, to be honest with you. I like them better than the Anastasia products. I feel like the Benefit ones work better for me personally. Like the brown, oh, oh and the Too Faced Brownie pencil. I will say that about Too Faced. I love the Brownie pencil. I have a review on that. Um, but the Benefit Cabrow is my favorite, like, gel brow. Um, I really like the brow pot product from um, the Balm. The Balm's brow product is fantastic. I love that one. But you got to remember, too, if you have a brown eyeshadow, you most likely will be able to use that for a brow product. You necessarily need to buy a brow powder if you don't want to, if you can find an eyeshadow that works for you. Um, like, for example, I just have this on top from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Like, I can use, like, this one down here totally for a brow product. Absolutely. You just don't, you just want to make sure that it's closer to your hair color. Like a lot of, especially with the Jack and Hill pot, it's really, really warm and my hair color is more like neutral to coolish kind of brown. So, um, Jack and Hill may not have been the best example, but you don't necessarily need a brow powder. You know, it's, it's really whatever you can get to work for you. Try different things, you know, and see what works. Steve, um, Lee says she likes the brow gal formula. Brow gal. I'm trying to remember which one's brow gal. There's so many products out there. And so my brain turns in what she do. It sounds familiar, but for some reason it's just not clicking. Um, Ivy likes the benefit products. Brianna says, I want more palettes with warm, neutral, and cool tone eyeshadows. Yeah, that'd be nice to have a nice little mix. Arwin says, uh, oh, the Mixed Face Awards. Oh my gosh. Um, Insomniac's Dream is who I'm chasing for this one. Insomniac's Dream, I met her at Generation Beauty in Toronto, and she was such a sweetheart. She's so ridiculously talented. She's got a lower number of subscribers, so she's got, like, she needs, like, the votes, <laughs> you know? But she's so sickeningly, so sickeningly talented. Um, another one that I uh, I met her at Generation Beauty in Toronto is Spanky Valentine. Oh, my gosh. Her videos, like, you'll either feel like you lost brain cells watching her videos or you'll be insanely entertained. Like, I, I watched her latest video, the cyberpunk one with my daughter, Lila, and we're both like this. The whole time we're like, oh my gosh, what are we watching? Like, I made my husband watch it. It's like, I can't even describe it. Like, you have to watch it. Like, the first eight minutes is like a little movie. It's crazy. It's the weirdest, weirdest little movie ever. But I absolutely loved it. <laughs> no, it's so weird. But if you aren't watching the Nick's Face Awards, they really are fun. You can go to nickspaceawards.com and you can see all the videos that are uh, people are voting on right now. They're trying to get into the top six, so this is the best time to vote for your favorites because the top six is like basically winning almost because once you get to the top six, you get your trip to uh, Los Angeles. I'm pretty sure it's Los Angeles. You get your trip to Los Angeles. You get to do the whole stage thing. You get money. You get prizes. You get all that stuff. And then the winner is like the mega winner. But the top six is really super prestigious. So if you're going to get into the Nick Space Awards, this is a great time to do it. There's only 12 videos. I usually just watch the beginning of the video, like the little intro, and like what the full look looks like. And then I move on to the next one. I don't usually watch the tutorial because I'm not like a huge tutorial person. But it really is a lot, a lot of fun. Oh, V from V Dreamcatcher is here. Hi, V. How are you, my friend? If you haven't seen V's channel, it's fabulous. V-I-I Dreamcatcher. Um, yeah, so to vote, you um, I signed in with my Facebook account, and you can vote three times a day for the Mixed Face Awards, or you can sign up with your email address, or you can do both. There's no rules that you can't do Facebook and email. You can do whatever you want. Arwen says Victoria Lynn, too. Um, Victoria Lynn is insanely talented and insanely beautiful. I have met her a couple of times, and, and there wasn't really a meshing of personalities there, um, but I'm definitely not hating in any way. Uh, but she is beautiful and very talented. Uh, Adrian wants to know if I'm vlogging in Iceland. I will be live streaming from Iceland. We did get a data package, like, with my phone. We're going to not use John's phone, and we're going to use my phone for everything, for all the social media streaming, so it's an unlimited data thing for Iceland. 
it's just a matter of keeping my phone charged. It's going to be the hard part. So uh, I just have to be really selective of when I use my phone. But yes, I will be live streaming. So I'll be on my Facebook. I'll be on, uh, I'll be on Facebook. I've been on Snapchat a lot lately. Snapchat, Instagram. I'm Jen Loves Reviews everywhere. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any YouTube videos from there just because I'm not going to be doing anything makeup related. I'm bringing a bag like this of makeup just for in case I want to do something. But um, I'm leaving for Iceland, by the way, next Thursday, so there's going to be no chat next week. And chances are there isn't going to be a chat the following week either, but I'm not sure. I might do a chat the following week. I'm going to have to keep your eye on social media to see. Um, Jessica Fit Beauty says um, that that um, Spanky Valentine's video production quality is amazing. Yeah, it's like a movie. It's it's literally like a movie. I would imagine because she is so friendly that she has a lot of friends that help her with these productions. Um, she always has a cast of people. I know she goes on our Ipsy OS group and asks people to be in the videos. So I have a feeling that it's her friends are helping her because she's so insanely friendly and funny and smart that she probably just gets a gang of people to support her, which is totally cool. Liz wants to, it says, Jen, please vlog. I will definitely be live streaming. I don't know if I'm going to do a full vlog just because I don't want to bring, like, I don't know. I might do a, I don't know. I might do a vlog. Now Liz is telling me to vlog. Now, now I might, because Liz says I should. All right, I got to pop off here. Family day, and apparently it's my wedding anniversary today. So I should probably do something with my family today. <laughs> go down and be like happy happy anniversary sweetheart and he's like oh yeah we forgot <laughs> oh um shauna wants to know about the justice makeup scandal i'll just say really quickly that i um i looked up and tried to find more information on the justice thing if you didn't watch the show today at the very end um there is a highlighter that was sold by justice that they found asbestos in it please 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 if you have children please do not buy them children's makeup it's just not a good idea it's horrible quality it's not good I would definitely recommend getting them Essence Makeup. Essence Makeup is cruelty-free, it's high quality, but it's not like punch you in the face, like super, super pigmented some of it, depending on what you choose. Um, and it's really cute, and you can get it at Ulta. Do not buy makeup at Justice. Do not buy makeup at um, you know Marshalls and TJ Maxx and stuff. Don't buy kids makeup because you never, this stuff is not regulated. Like, buy it from a legit brand. It doesn't matter what legit brand it is, but please don't buy children's makeup. It's scary. It's absolutely scary. So, um, if you want to know more about it, you can just Google the article. Uh, it's, you just do justice makeup asbestos, you'll find it. And it's just, it's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. So, um, yeah, but it's at the very end and late breaks of what's been makeup this week. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and thank you for being here in live chat. I appreciate you so much, and mad love to you, and I will see you in a couple of videos this week. Know what's going to make up next week, know chat next week, and uh, yeah, I'll see you sometime the following week, hopefully, probably just for chat the following week, so, and I don't know if we're going to do any more vacations this summer we haven't decided yet, so I'll, but I'll keep you posted. All right, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you again so much for being here and mad love to you. And I'll see you in a video soon. Bye. Thanks, everybody.